when Judy Grant dropped by to see her best friend, Sandy Clark. Sandy's here. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Judy. What you doing? What else? So am I. Yeah. I hope Mr. Jenkins gives the test and the parts I read. He never, ever. Listen, do you have a date for the prom yet? Not yet. Tom and I just broke up two weeks ago, you know. Oh, uh, that was silly. Why'd you do that with prom coming up and everything? I know. Well, how would you like to go with Bill Donovan? I don't think I know him. Yes, you do. He's the one with the white van with the blue zigzag oh, line. Oh, yeah. And... It's kind of an old one. He's always working on it out in his driveway. Yeah, we used to pass his house all the time. That's right. That's one. Yeah. Well, see, he's Jim's best friend, so... Well, I just don't want to be fixed up. But it wouldn't be like that with Jim talking to him, please. Well, okay, I guess. Whew. Good, I'm glad you said yes. <laughs> Jim's on his way over to Bill's right now to ask him. Judy, you're terrible. I've got to go. Okay, bye. See you later. Mom? Mom? Mom, I think I might have a date for the prom. That's nice. Who is it, dear? It's Bill Donovan. You know the guy with the white van? You mean that one we keep driving by all the time? Yeah. Well, I suppose it's all right, but, but I hear he's sort of a fast driver. Well, he hasn't asked me yet, but I think he's going to. Hey, Bill, how you doing? Hey, Jim, what's up? Oh, not much. I was just on my way over to see you. Glad I caught you. Yeah, I'm glad you weren't under that tunnel, man. There's not even enough room to pass a moped in there. Yeah, I know. Hey, listen, you going to the prom? Nah. All the neat girls are going steady. Not Sandy. Sandy? Well, you might not know her. She's a junior, but she's in Judy's government class. They hang around a lot together. Oh, a little shorter than me with long blonde hair? Yeah, that's her. Yeah. I think I saw her walking into Jenkins' class the other day with Judy. She just broke up with Tom Grove a couple of weeks ago. Why don't you ask her tomorrow? Okay. Hi, Judy. Sandy. Hi. Hey, Sandy, do you know Bill Donovan? No, I don't. Hi, Bill. Hi, Sandy. Come here, Judy. I want to talk to you. So, Sandy, have you got a date to the prom yet? Not yet. I just broke up with Tom a couple weeks ago. Bad timing, huh? Yeah. Uh, well, if you're not going with Tom, how'd you like to go with me? Sure, that'd be great. Judy, Sandy, are you planning to come in or are you going to take the test out here in the hall? Listen, I'll call you tonight, okay? Okay, bye. He's calling me tonight. Oh, yeah, I've known Judy a long time. Mm-hmm. Oh, Bill, I'm so glad you asked me. I'm just so excited, I can hardly wait. So I'll see you tomorrow at 7.30, right? Okay, bye. I like that one too well on you. Yeah, I like that one. That's it. Don't forget your daddy wanted to take a picture of you, so don't go rushing off. I won't. Does my hair look okay? You look just fine. If he doesn't show up, I'll take you myself. Oh, Daddy. Well, now, I don't make such a bad-looking date. I'll get it. This part of the story needs no explanation. For it has been reenacted on the American scene a million times. And every family photo album in America must be filled with a dozen shots like these. Sandy, Bill's here. Hold it there a second, Sandy. I'd like to get a picture. Hold it. That's it. Good. Okay. Hello, Sandy. 
I'd like you to meet my mother. Mother, this is Bill Donovan. Hi. How you doing, Mrs. Carr? And I guess you've met my father. He's the one with the camera. Here's your corsage, Sandy. Oh, thank you, Bill. I hope it goes okay with your dress. Oh, white rosebuds. It's just perfect. Thank you. Hold on a second. I want to get a shot of that. Here, let me help you. Let me get just one other. Oh, here's your boutonniere. Oh. Sandy, help him pin it on. Okay. Sorry, got to get a shot of that, too. We don't watch them. We'll spend the whole night here taking pictures. Just one more, the two of you, side by side. Great. Just like that. Hold it now. check our makeup. Would you guys wait here for us? Sure, go ahead. It didn't show, did it? I mean, when they took the picture. No, they probably thought you had a deformed chest or something. You want to try that? Yeah, let me have some of that. <coughs> Ooh. It's a little better when you mix it. Yeah. Up. We'll doctor up the punch. Hey, Amy, who'd you come with? Chris. You're kidding. I got so him. cute. I so good. I did I didn't think you'd be here. Who are you with? Bill Donovan. Great. That is the cutest dress. Thank you. I like yours, too. I love it. You better watch out for that guy. Pretty's pretty wild. Oh, he's been just great. Uh, yeah, besides, Bill and I are chaperoning. Is that <laughs> come on, we better get back. They'll think we set them up. That's good for them to wait. Oh, come on. Bye-bye. Right. Have a good time. Bye-bye. Hi, you guys. Hi. 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 Another? No, I think I'll wait till later. Got plenty more. Oh, Mr. Jenkins is coming. You better hide that. Hello, Jim. Bill. Hi. Hello, uh, Mr. Jenkins. Say, uh, what happened? Did your dates abandon you? Oh, I don't think so, sir. I think they're over there fixing up their hair. Uh -huh. Here they are. Oh. Hi, Mr. Jenkins. Sandy, Judy. You look awfully nice tonight. Why, thank you very much, Sandy. And I must say that you girls are absolutely beautiful. Listen, y'all have a real nice time tonight, huh? I've got to run. Oh, see you later, Mr. Bye. Jenkins. He's so nice. Oh, I know. I like him. What do you say? You want to grab a table? There is a similarity to all of the thousands of proms that take place across the nation each spring. Most, like this one, represent a huge project to turn the gym into a fancy ballroom. Oh, you gonna put some of that vodka in there? Yeah. All right. I'll watch for Mr. Yeah, Jenkins. Keep an eye out for Jenkins. Man. Where did he go before when he left us? I don't know. Yeah, he's just cruising around looking for people with alcoholic beverages. Watch for Jenkins. Okay. okay. Yeah. Keep an eye out. I don't want to get caught with this stuff. Well, let me. Yeah. Let something? me have some of that. Hand it over here. All right. Sandy, you want some? No, thanks. I'm having a good time. Don't worry. You sure? Yeah. Okay. here, don't you think? No wonder with all that vodka. Why don't you say we go out for a ride and cool off a little? Sounds okay to me. We can have a couple of beers. I got a six-pack in the van. That sounds great. What about you, Sam? I don't know. Seems like we just got here. Oh, come on, we won't be gone long. Things are just getting started here. Yeah, there'll be a lot more people here when we get back. Come on. Well, okay, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. 
There's another similarity to all proms. In spite of all the effort to create the most exciting prom possible, there will always be those couples who will slip away for a drive. Perhaps it's teenage exuberance, or perhaps it's just that an event they've anticipated for so long Boy, can never live up to their expectations. Well, let's have a couple of these beers. All right. Thank you. How about you, Sandy? No, thanks. I just don't like the taste. Oh, come on. A little bit won't hurt you. Yeah, come on, Sandy. Live it up a little. What the heck? I mean, for Jim and me, this will be the last prom. Well, maybe I'll have a little sip of Bill's later. I'm having a great time, honest. Let's go for a ride. OK. OK. Thank you. Another one? Yeah. Oh, no thanks, man. I still got some left in this one. Uh, Sandy, you want to try the radio, get some music that you like? Sure. WRBI rocking with you tonight. This is Mitch throwing in some good tunes for you. We'll get to another one. But first, I want to mention this. Tonight is prom night at several schools around the area, and that includes Batesville High. Hey, all you Batesville Bulldogs, take care if you're out and about with your lady, and uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Weather outlook for tonight clear, with temperatures hanging in there around 60. It's what I call a perfect cruising night. It's 10.05 at RBI. You're in tune with your rock connection. is never a pretty place. The muddy embankment of a railroad overpass is hardly the kind of place one would choose to die. Gee, it looks like a bad accident. It went clear through the windshield. I think that one boy's dead. They must have just left the prom. There are always the curious, perhaps drawn there to experience the reality of the statistics we read and hear about. Thank you. 
Tomorrow, in the quiet of an insurance office, actuarial tables will be changed. For the record books, a fatal wreck is an ending. But for the rest of us, it is the beginning. The beginning of the silent suffering of the bitter memories of those who will mourn the dead. Margaret Mary Community Hospital, Bates Hill Rescue 10. This is Margaret Mary, go ahead. She was involved in a car accident and she was thrown through the windshield. She has a possible neck injury, possible fractured skull, and severe facial lacerations, vitals. Her BP is 80 over 40. Her respirations are slow and shallow, and her pulse is 40. Her pupils are unequal at this time. Our ETA is approximately five minutes. Um, also, Rescue 10B will be arriving shortly with more victims. And there is one possible DOA. At hospitals and emergency rooms around the country, it is inevitable that special occasions like the prom will produce emergency situations. Doctors and nurses stand by in a grim vigil, and their wait is seldom in vain. through this holy anointing, that the Lord in his love and mercy help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up. Amen. Two of our chairs are vacant today. I guess by now you all know the reason why. Sandy's chair will never be filled again. Judy's chair will be empty for a long, long time. I'm going to leave those two chairs empty for the rest of this semester, and even into the start of the next school year, as a reminder to us all that statistics are not just numbers. They mean people by those numbers. And I guess now we all know that it's not always the other guy. I, I had the grim task this morning of cleaning out Sandy's locker. And putting everything into a small box and wondering what I was going to tell her parents when I gave it to them. But I guess, I guess I feel the most for Bill Donovan. Not just because of all of the legal charges that he faces, but because he'll be blaming himself for this and, and carrying that guilt along inside of him for the rest of his life. Sandy's funeral is tomorrow morning. Uh, those of you who can will be excused, of course, to attend. I'm sure that Mr. and Mrs. Clark will appreciate our being there. You know, we've, uh, we've all learned a very valuable lesson from all this. But dear God, what a price. Sandy Clark is wearing a formal gown today. 
she wears a white rosebud corsage. But few will realize this, for the lid of the coffin was not opened. It was best that way. Why don't you ask her tomorrow? Well, if you're not going with Tom, how'd you like to go with me? Sure, that'd be great. <sighs> if we don't watch him, we'll be spending the whole night here taking pictures. And I must say that you girls are absolutely beautiful. Oh, come on. We won't be gone long, and things are just starting here. Yeah, come on, Sandy. Live it up. I mean, for Jim and me, this will be the last call. Receive her soul, O Lord Jesus Christ, and present Sandy to God the Most High. And may her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. There is a story behind every wrecked car. Statistics have taken on a grim reality. For the family and friends of Sandy Clark, nothing can ever be the same again.